Welcome back. It turns out that staring at a Zoom screen isn't good for your self-esteem, but it's good business if you're a cosmetic surgeon. Just ask Dr. Stafford Brumand, board-certified plastic surgeon in Manhattan. Doctor, thanks so much for making time with us today. Um, everybody is communicating this way now. Everybody's talking through Zoom. Everybody's gotten used to seeing this video of themselves. It's interesting to me that that, and you tell me if this is true, that has led to an increase in people wanting plastic surgery or cosmetic surgery? They see themselves in the video on the Zoom where in most conversations, you're not looking at yourself. So it's a term called Zoom dysmorphia. So you're looking at yourself in the lens of a camera, either on your phone or desktop, and you're seeing yourself either from below or above or bad lighting or in comparison to the other little cubicles that are on your Zoom call, and you're like, I've got to do something about this. This isn't a natural shot. Uh, the, this shot, it's, it flattens your face out a little bit. It's Zoom is just a little bit off, and I'm certain that's disturbing to people too, because they go, do I look like that? Well, it's not necessarily true, but I guess it would be difficult for you to get that out of somebody's mind once they, once they see something over and over again that they don't like about themselves. Well, it's, it's several fold. One is they'll see things now that they never really looked at. Uh -huh. The other thing is if you're on your phone, uh, the perspective, and I'm gonna sit way back here so you can see, as I sit back, you get a better perspective, a, a longer focal point. So when you're getting professional photograph done, you're way back. But right. in Zoom calls, you want your head up in the face of this. It's a fisheye look. So. I don't see your ears. You don't see my ears so much because they've fallen back. We don't get that perspective. So you're correct. It's distorted. So it's a distortion. It's a dysmorphia. And it has changed the way people see themselves. And it has increased our practice as far as eyelids, jawline, neck for the face, for, for facial plastic surgery. It, it, it all has to do with this area of the face is what you're saying, right? The, what they're looking at on Zoom. Well, again, it's Zoom, which is the face. And now think of this, if you're in and out of a Zoom call with a mask, you're really only looking at the eyes. So you got the eyes, which are a focal point. And then without the mask, you're looking at the face. And if you're looking, and I'm going to change this again, just so you see, I'm going to change the perspective where now you're looking at me underneath and you see, and you can see this all the time, you'll see the people's ceilings in the Zoom call and you're like, oh, that's coming from underneath. That's the way I look at it. I'm like, that's gonna be a bad shot. It's not gonna be very attractive. What you wanna do is change that Zoom call. So now you're looking from a little bit above, it, it really improves your neckline. No one wants to be looking at this part of their neck over the age of 35. Yeah, exactly. Believe me, from somebody that has to sit and try to figure out how I look best when I'm doing these calls, these interviews, I know exactly what people right, are sure. going through and exactly right. how they feel. So what happens now, though? This is all happening because of the pandemic. When the pandemic goes away, does Zoom dysmorphia go away? Uh, I think that Zoom is here to stay. Uh, it's easy for us to to see patients. If someone is coming from another state or another country, they can have their initial consultation uh, on Zoom. So I believe Zoom is here to stay. And these video conferencing people now are very comfortable after having done it for a year. How much of an increase of business are we talking about? I mean, are you seeing a lot more patients? It is, uh, we have no free time anymore. I, I could be working full time all the time and weekends. So. It's, it's gone up 50, 100%. And how we've adjusted for that is we're now doing more of these procedures under local or a little sedation so that we can have a, a quicker turnaround time and, and the patients can have a quicker recuperation and less of an effort to get this procedure done. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. Well, congratulations on the uptake in business and uh, thank you for spending the time with us today. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Board certified plastic surgeon, Stafford Brumand. Still to come on Jersey Matters. I'm Phil Andrews in Flemington and coming up on Jersey Matters, we'll take you to a miniature wonderland that you have to see to believe.